So basically, the reasons for disengagement from the boys were split into both internal factors and external factors that brought about this disengagement in PE. Uh, one of the main ones of the internal factors was their self-efficacy. They basically, it was mainly their ability level in the sport that often put them off. They felt that they didn't have a high enough skill level to basically either compete or be in that class with the rest of their peers and this simply made them feel pretty terrible as they were about to come to PE or in the lesson as they got nervous about the fact that they might not simply be able to do a free throw in basketball or even as simple as a kind of chess pass. So they felt necessarily that their technical points and technical ability level just wasn't strong enough. So that was one thing that often put them off PE and wanted them to avoid it. Um, another one was often the social factors uh, that surrounded PE, so this could be was to do with their peers as well. They felt that PE was seen as a kind of more masculine uh, part of the school and that it was more kind of dominated by these boys who were more powerful and bigger and stronger um, and that it was aimed at these boys so that they felt that they couldn't really get involved because they weren't the kind of bigger, more powerful boys in the year group. Uh, this was often definitely seen in sports, the kind of competitive team sports where they felt that the certain um, maybe more popular, more sporty kids would dominate these games, meaning that they would just have to kind of take a step back uh, as they thought they might let down their teammates. This was definitely seen uh, from my point of view in football and from what they were saying that they found that football was just a very kind of came across as just a very aggressive sport where certain boys would completely dominate the game they wouldn't get the ball passed to them um, and that just massively put them off football especially but kind of dragged into team games as well. Other internal factors were things like physical obstacles in the class. Now this was all often when they went back to maybe things that happened in the past, this could be in primary school, it could be in earlier years of senior school where they simply, it was remembering these injuries that they maybe got in a competitive team game um, that just simply, they would turn up to PE and they would be kind of, have this sense of physical fear at the fact that they might once again get injured in a sport that they don't enjoy or they just don't want to do. Um, also the fact that there was a poor body image, if they had a poor body image of themselves, they felt that PE was again forcing them to show or put across their body and highlight it to others in the class who might be more sporty again and they felt that they were in the spotlight once again, poor body image, they might not be comfortable in the, the kit that they're having to wear and that they're having to show the rest of the class that they're maybe not as fit, not as skillful again. Uh, and the final one was basically, they had also psychological uh, effects because of PE. One of the, it was th words like anxiety, dread, crisis were words that were coming out of the kids during their uh, interviews. And it was these things that they felt kind of helpless in the fact that they were being forced into doing PE, especially at the older ages when exams uh, were becoming such an important part of their life. Uh, one boy was quoted actually saying that it was the worst place on the school curriculum. Um, so again, that's pretty strong words for someone to be talking just about a simple subject that he hates it that much that it's the worst place in school, simply being in PE. So again, they just didn't understand why they were being forced into doing this activity that they just hated so much that was putting them off uh, school altogether, really.